Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. It's Coupons with Abby. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a terrific week. We're at CVS to do some deals for this week. CVS is looking super good in my opinion. I was a little iffy because my CRTs were kind of lagging a little. I just didn't feel like they were that great. But I've come up with some great scenarios to share with y'all. And of course, if you have the same CRTs or coupons, feel free to take some deals away from this video. I do have a printable list down in the description box as well in case you want to look at that. I'm so sorry. The sun is really brutal and it's bothering me. I guess I'll try to like sit a little like this. We are working with both cards today and it's going to be a lot of rolling transactions because I'm still a little low on the extra buck side of things especially on my side card we talked about last week I was trying to build back up the extra bucks and have some money so I will be paying a high out of pocket well not with my own money I'll be using Fetch Rewards gift cards because I have been getting a lot of cash back from Fetch Rewards lately so might as well use that on some CVS gift cards to lessen my out of pocket so I'm not paying any cash even if it's my PayPal debit card, I'm not paying any cash at all. I want to just have zero dollar subtotals. Hopefully, let's manifest it. But we are doing both cards. I am going to do a nice little Activate Rewards promotion. It's called the Winter Wellness Activate Rewards promotion from Fandigo. And it is spent 25 on participating Johnson & Johnson products. Get $10 back. Um, usually with those promotions, you can choose to get an e-gift card, a... Um, physical gift card and then a couple other options as well. I usually choose the physical gift cards. I feel like they benefit me the best. So we are going to hopefully try to knock that out at CVS today. That is a super good promotion. And we are just going to go ahead and get in because there's a lot to cover today. But first, if you are new, welcome. I am super excited you found my channel and you're here to coupon with me at CVS today. Please be sure to consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload. As well as give the video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it and CVS couponing. So we're going to go ahead and get in here and talk about some deals. All right, so we are starting with my side card today and I'm going to go ahead and give the disclaimer that this deal was a complete mess because I read the ad wrong. I had thought that the Aveeno and Neutrogena were spend 30, get 10 or spend 45, get 15. So a tiered spend threshold scenario. I was trying to spend 45 between Aveeno and Neutrogena and lo and behold, Neutrogena was not included in this deal. So that caused a big mess at the end which you guys will see but i'm gonna go ahead and explain how i had wished it went for the sake of the video but you guys will see at the end of the video how it actually went so i'd like to have grabbed two of the aveeno positively radiant moisturizers at 18.99 each we're also going to throw in this 8 off 40 your next purchase crt i have tied to this account for extra savings and then I wanted to grab one of these Neutrogena makeup remover towelettes at $7.59. They are on promotion, buy one, get one 40% off, but I just wanted to go ahead and grab one to get the $45 threshold. So with this scenario, I also wanted to submit to the Activate Rewards Winter Wellness Rebate, which is spend $25 on select products, get a $10 extra buck, and Neutrogena and Aveeno are included. So we are way over that threshold. But we are also at $45.57 with all three products to get hopefully that $15 extra buck. The game plan was to use a $3.50 digital coupon for the Aveeno, the 8 off 40 CRT, a $3 Neutrogena facial care CRT, and a $1 digital coupon for the Neutrogena. Now this would leave my out of pocket at $30.07, which seems very, very steep. But I was rolling a Fetch Rewards gift card, so I was not going to pay that. But I was hoping for a $15 extra buck back for spending $45, submitting to the Activate Rewards Winter Wellness Rebate for $10 back. I'd also submit to Coupons.com the app for a $3.50 coupon reimbursement for the Aveeno that I did not have a coupon for. And we have rebates on Ibotta for $3 back on each of the Avenos, so $6, making all three products a $4.43 moneymaker. So I will pop a screenshot somewhere here on the screen, but I want y'all to just tell me I'm not crazy. But in the ad, the way that both 
promotions are in the bracket together make it seem like Neutrogena is included in this spend deal. It is not. Neutrogena is its own separate promotion for buy one, get one 40% off. It is not a part of the Avino deal. So you will see at the end how I fix it and how it kind of screwed my math up today, but that was that. So the CoverGirl Cosmetics are spend 18, get a $6 extra buck this week. And it would have been nice if my store had the Simply Ageless Blurring Serum in stock. They did not. It would have made for a nice small little money maker on this side card. But we're going to go ahead and pass on this deal. But this deal will still be listed in the printable list in case you are interested. So about this time of year until I think the week of Christmas, CVS offers the Wet n Wild and LA Color gift sets on certain extra buck promotions. And you can get these smaller Wet n Wild and LA Color gift sets at $4.99 this week. When you buy one, you'll get a $3 extra buck. There's also the $9.99 variety. I believe that is buy one, get a $5 extra buck if I'm not mistaken. But I love this deal. I just think they're great gifts and stocking stuffers. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the Wet n Wild gift sets at $4.99. I do have a free cosmetic CRT on both of my accounts, actually. So I'm hoping that'll take off the value of $4.99, leaving me to pay nothing, getting back a $3 extra buck, making both of them completely free, and a $3 moneymaker on each. So I'm grabbing one for each account. So now I'm going to start my spend 30, get a $10 extra buck on household and personal care items. I'm going to start by grabbing two of the Downy Unstoppable beads. They are on sale for $94 each this week. I have a $1 printable coupon from pggoodeveryday.com or you can use a $1 paper coupon from the November PNG. And I have a $1 digital coupon for the other. I'm also going to grab one of these Bounty 6 equals 9 roll paper towels. They are on sale $9.99. We do have a $1 digital coupon. Lastly, for my Spend 30 deal, I'm going to throw in two of the Head & Shoulders on sale 2 for 12 I have a 3 off 2 paper coupon that is expired, I believe, by a day. but My CVS will allow it up to 14 days. And I have a 3 off 2 digital coupon that should glitch in conjunction with this. So for the bounty, the unstoppables, the head and shoulders, that totals us $31.87 to get that $10 extra buck. We have the three off two digital coupon for the head and shoulders and the three off two paper coupon that should glitch. We have the $1 printable for the unstoppables and a $1 digital and then the $1 digital for the bounty. That should leave my out of pocket at $22.87, earning back a $10 extra buck, making the final cost $12.87 for all five products or $2.57 each. We have a nice little freebie and moneymaker on the beloved single Airwick warmers. We love grabbing those things. They're $2.59. I have a $1.50 app only digital coupon, so I'll pay $1.09, submit to Ibotta for $1.75 back, making it an easy 66 cent moneymaker. So no extra buck promotion on this Flamingo Shave Gel. I just have a really good CRT and I'm curious to try it. It is $4.99. I have a $5 CRT making it completely free, paying literally nothing but tax at the register. So the Irish Spring and Soft Soap Body Wash are on sale $3.99 this week. Buy one, get a $2 extra buck limit of three. So I'm a little burnt on the Irish Spring deals lately. I am going for the soft soap. So I'm going to grab two. I'm going to use a 75 cent printable coupon from Soft Soap's website, a $1 digital coupon, and two two off two Soft Soap CRTs. So I should pay $2.23. I'll get back $4 in extra bucks for doing the deal twice, making both of them free and a $1.77 moneymaker. So the Dove men's deodorant, along with many other deodorants, are buy one, get one half off, buy two, get a $3 extra buck. I'm going to go for the Dove Men's Stick Deodorants, one at $6.99 original price. My half off item will be $3.49, both totaling me $10.48. So I'll use two of these $3 insert coupons from the eleven fourteen save, which was yesterday's inserts. I will pay $4.48, get back a $3 extra buck, and submit to Fetch Rewards for $2 back when I purchase two making both of them free and a 52 cent money maker. So at the beginning of November, CVS introduced the new beauty club. We knew it as spend 30, get a $3 beauty buck on select beauty purchases. 
Now you're getting incentives for every $30 you spend, like free products every month. And that is just something that is sent to your, after you spend the $30, it's sent to your card where you can get the free beauty product and it can print out the red box for you to go ahead and use. Uh, the list of free products just kind of stinks in my opinion. I mean, it's just face masks and little hair ties. That is all they're giving us. I'm not a fan of it. I really would benefit more from that $3 beauty buck we always get. But nonetheless, I mean, I can always use hair ties. I lose them faster than I can hold on to them. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this pack right here. I cannot pronounce the brand name for the life of me. It is $3.69. Having the CRT should just make it completely free. Also, let me know your thoughts of the new beauty club in the comments. How do you like it? So this is all I'm grabbing at CVS for today. There was several other items I'd obviously like to get, but it kind of went downhill starting with the Aveeno deal. Originally, I had planned a much lower cost going into the store and in the store. It was just ridiculous. Try to work around it and I still ended up messing it up. But we're going to make do with it and we're going to head home and talk about the receipts and the final cost. All right, so this is our CVS haul and there was lots of issues behind it. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in because it was messy. So I'm going to start my side card first. The first transaction I did was one of the Wet n Wild gift sets by itself. I wanted to see how that free cosmetic CRT played out. Took off the full value. I paid absolutely nothing, not even tax, and got back my $3 extra buck. Now, my second and last transaction on the side card was the Aveeno and Neutrogena for the Spend 45, Get 15, and the Activate Rewards promotion of Spend 25, Get 10. You do not see the Neutrogena because the Neutrogena is not included in the promotion, which I feel like that's kind of obviously my fault, but... On CVS's end, they didn't really do well separating the two deals. The Neutrogena and the Aveeno were in the same bracket, if you look at the ad. And I'll put a picture up here on the screen somewhere. They're in the same bracket, so I would have assumed they were in the same promotion. No. Neutrogena is just buy one, get one 40% off. The Aveeno is the one that spend 30, get 10, spend 45, get 15. So that's what screwed me up, and I only got back 10. And I went ahead and messaged my friend Amy Way to save. And I was like, is it because I used the 8 off 40? Like, I thought I could use that. But maybe you can't use those threshold coupons with tier deals. And she's like, no, that shouldn't affect it. And that's when I realized the Neutrogena is not included. It's just its own promotion. No extra buck back for that. So that is super wonky so what i did is i just returned the neutrogena we know cvs returns are super funky and i got back a dollar 92 in cash and 61 cents in an extra buck so i'm just gonna go ahead and count out the neutrogena altogether because that's just dead deal dead no good deal but i will say in the final numbers i am including that eight off 40 deducting now even though i wasn't at 40 with the two avino products i was at 37 you, if you were to take away and do this deal, you would have to do some adjusting to get to that $40 to use the 8 off 40 like I was doing. I'm still counting it because it still came off, but I'm taking out all the Neutrogena and the coupons and CRTs used for the Neutrogena. Hopefully that makes sense, but just know that if you wanted to do a similar deal like this, just keep in mind you have to spend 40 to use the 8 off 40 But that, that's that. I, I hope it makes sense. I hope I'm explaining myself well. So that was that issue. Um, and I'm still at the threshold, of course, to get that $10 extra buck. I told you I got it, but I'm still meeting that $25 threshold to get my $10 from Activate Rewards. So that is okay. Now on my main account, we went ahead and did most of my transaction in the first transaction. So we have the head and shoulders, the soft soap, the bounty, the downy, the... One of the gift sets and then my free hair ties and the flamingo shave gel now here's the funky thing only one head and shoulder on the receipt he did not ring up my second head and shoulder which screwed up my whole spend 30 deal he i don't know how he missed it but i did not get my ten dollar extra buck originally for my spend 30 deal because he had not rung it up but we have our 75 cent coupon for the soft soap. The three off two for the head and shoulders still scanned, even though I did not meet the quantity. 
But that's pretty much how glitches work, you know? The three off two usually attaches to one product so we can have the digital attached to the other. Now, since he did not ring up both head and shoulders, I wasn't going to get a digital glitch. Um, so that was that. I lost $3 in savings for that. But we can't always count on glitches, so that's just a nice little heads up. But three off two did scan, and then the $1 coupon for the downy. All of the digitals and my CRTs, the free cosmetic CRT did attach to the cosmetic set, my free beauty club gift, and then the and then the CRTs, I did roll $24 in extra bucks, but the $2 right here reduces up down to 59 cents. So $22.59, that's when I kind of knew something was up because I expected a small subtotal, but I couldn't figure out what for. Maybe I thought maybe I did my math wrong and it was going to be a little bit cheaper. It was because he didn't ring up the other head and shoulders. So that was that. But... I did get back my $4 for the soft soap, and then it shows that I need $3 more for my $10 extra book. I went ahead and took it back in store when I returned the Neutrogena, and he rung up one of them at $0 just for inventory sake, so they knew that another product had left the shelf, but he did force print me my $10 extra book right there. So we got that back at least. And then my last transaction of the day was the Dove deodorants and the Airwick warmer. So I got all of my paper and digital coupons applied. I rolled a $4 extra buck and my subtotal is $1.57. We also got back the $3 extra buck for the deodorant. So it was, it was just messy as you guys can tell. It was a messy, messy situation. So I'm going to voice over the final numbers portion right now because in the video I had done it completely wrong and made my cost way higher than it should have been. So we're going to do it voiceover style and correct it. So on my side card, between subtotals and extra bucks, we spent $26.48. Now that is pretty much just counting the Aveeno and the one coupon used for the Aveeno product and the Adolf 40. I am still counting that Adolf 40 coming off, even though it's not supposed to come off because we were under that $40 threshold. But it I'm still counting it in, but we took out all the Neutrogena and the coupons used for that. And then that gift set didn't cost me anything, not even a subtotal. So $26.48 out of pocket. I did get back $13 in extra bucks, $10 for the Aveeno and $3 for the gift set. I submitted to Ibotta for $6.10 for the Aveeno and $0.10 cents for uploading any receipt. I did submit to Activate Rewards for my $10 virtual gift card. And then I submitted to coupons.com the app for a coupon reimbursement of $3.50. So that makes the side card with the Aveeno and the gift set completely free and a $6.12 moneymaker on my end. Now I'm saying that because the Adolf 40 is not supposed to work when you are under that $40 threshold. Um, and those two Aveeno products totaled me $37. But since I had that Neutrogena, it got me over it. But then I returned the Neutrogena. I really do apologize for the wonkiness of this. It is just insane to me how it worked out so crazy. But I did adjust in the printable list the scenario for the Aveeno to work for you guys if you have the same CRTs. Um, I just listed some basic CRTs that most accounts usually get to make that Aveeno deal work where you get the extra buck and the um, winter wellness rebate. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Now, moving on to the main card, we spent $33.67 out of pocket between subtotals and extra bucks. We got back $20 in extra bucks for the spend 30 deal. We got back 10 for that. $3 for the Wet n Wild gift set, $3 for the Dove Men deodorant, and $4 for the Soft Soap body wash. I submitted to Ibotta for $1.75 back on the Airwick Warmer and received $2 back from Fetch Rewards on that Dove deodorant, making the final cost for that $9.92, which obviously would be a little bit cheaper if I had the glitch with the head and shoulders, but we're working with what we got. So in total of product today, it's about $113.06 worth of product, and that's just sale price. Our final cost for all 16 items today comes to $3.80 or $0.23 cents per item, which I still think is a fantastic deal. So hopefully you guys found some deals to take away from this video. And once again, I can't apologize enough for the 
crazy hecticness and all these numbers I'm throwing at you because I know it can get confusing. This just definitely did not work out in my favor and CVS was not having it with me yesterday for some reason. So we worked with what we got. We still got it at a $3 final cost. I'm more than happy with that. So that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're doing any CVS couponing down in the comments and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.